you've got a bow and arrow, right? The only way that arrow is going to go far at all is it's got to address resistance, right? So for every dreamer out there, when you hear, no, it cannot be done, just let it keep coming. Because once they let go of that arrow, all those no's are what's going to fuel you to turn those dreams into reality. Oh, the rage. That's the Garth rage that That's we're talking about. That's the last about. thing you see before he shuts that f head. Right there. You didn't see all those no's coming? If you're wondering why Garth Brooks' comment section looks like a trailer park in Alabama after a tornado, this video is for you. I'll explain the comment section, Garth's reaction to the comments. You know, I read a lot of the comments. And the various ways in which this nearly five-year Cold War could come to a head. In part one, we went back to 2018 to look at three of the earliest clips YMH put out discussing Garth. Garth Brooks did to did to country what uh, panties did to finger fucking. <laughs> this is just who I am. Oh. So if this is truly a conversation, then I say let the conversation begin. Let's go have some fun and let's get physical playing music. I like that. Let's get physical playing music. I like that. I don't get it. <laughs> and then the crazy chimp smile. Oh, man. He probably, or definitely, got in late on social media. Because we remember when he yeah. was introduced to it, the weirdest video. He's like, hey, guys, I'm on, oh. I'm on MySpace now. Oh, well, I guess it's official. Around this time, YMH began posting to Garth's comment section and encouraged their fans to do the same. I don't like that everyone's having fun without me. And I think you should unrestrict T-Buns from commenting on your account. And I sure hope that the people who listen to this and comment don't encourage you to unrestrict me. It could very well be the first hostile takeover of a celebrity social media. 2,000, 4,000, some posts reaching over 8,000 comments. Of those comments, only a few are ever from real fans of Garth. If you're a fan of the YMH podcast, then you understand what it means when you see random comments like, where are the bodies? That comes from a press conference YMH covered on episode 476 with guest Fahim Anwar. And that's what I'm hoping becomes easy in a stadium. He's about to cry. People, the furthest away and they can feel like they're from home. Dr. Drew has to watch. What's going on is he's thinking about all the bodies he's got stacked in fucking graves on his, uh, in his you think yard. he's a killer? Sure. 100%. He's probably killed two, three hundred people in his life. It's a good cover. Yeah. I don't know. I think so. I'm going to go with it. Just a dash of Asperger's. Another widely questioned comment is, touch my camera through the fence. YMH is known for finding the strangest social media accounts on the deepest part of the internet and sharing them with their listeners. Fed Smoker is a not-so-subtle police auditor. What is this place anyways? What is this place? Um, you don't need to film me. Oh, I, I'm new to the documentary. Listen I here. I don't care. I don't want to be This filmed. is America, you dumb son of a bitch, okay? You dumb son of a bitch. I'm a private person, and I, I don't want to be I am a fucking American, fuck you film. stupid fuck. fuck I can ask you anything film. I want. Film. What's up there, Chomo? Listen here. What Chomo. do you guys, how do you get a job here, there fuck face? <laughs> well, not by talking like that. <laughs> well, you know what? You're fired, bud. <laughs> talking to me, I'm a fucking American, you fuck. You're the one touching my camera through the fence, you faggot. Another popular comment. Anything that relates to a DUI. <laughs> my ass is gonna be doing community service for the state of Utah. Woo! I got a DUI, baby. <laughs> How proud of it! <laughs> One of Tom's favorites when fans ask Garth what a banana split is. It's a banana split? Huh? Well, we gonna use your booty. I'm gonna hit the. I gotta. I gotta break it in half. <laughs> You understand? Yeah. And then there's what? Uh, yeah, it's just time to wake up. Come on. Yes, you are my queen. Oh my god. What? The comment section may seem confusing at first, but it's pretty simple. It's just a group of people who are all part of an inside joke. Like when you're a kid and you watch a movie with your friends, the quotes from that movie become part of your everyday vernacular. Tell me what winging. Parents and teachers may think you are touched in the head. Stop looking at me, Swan! Much like YMH fans are perceived in Garth's comment section. But you and your friends get it. 
The inside joke has grown so big that it's not only Garth's comment section that's been hijacked, it's every comment section that posts about Garth. In part one of Garth Brooks is not a murderer, the majority of comments are YMH related, and this video will be littered with them as well. Leave your favorite comment below. I myself am particularly fond of the comments requesting closure for missing family members. But what does Garth think about this? Obviously he knows. We heard that from Tom. Then I happen to meet somebody who actually is closely connected to him. And I go, so what's going on? Like, does he know? And he goes, oh yeah, he knows. You know, I read a lot of the comments. And so when you talk about people loving people, you get this, oh Garth, that's not real life, or that's not the way the world is. That's all right, that's your opinion. Mine is, love is going to win. Love's gonna be the last man standing. I like it. To those who haven't followed Tom Segura's career, this whole thing may seem dumb, childish, or even border the lines of bullying. But for those of us who have followed Tom, we know that everything he does is calculated. And this is nothing short of the best marketing campaign of all time. Much like podcasters and comedians going on each other's shows to share fans and gain a bigger following, Tom has found a way to get the attention of one of the biggest markets in the country, Garth Nation. And by hijacking Garth's social media, Tom has opened up YMH to a vast number of untapped fans. It's marketing genius. Adding another layer to the hilarity, Tom is forcing Garth into something he obviously doesn't want to acknowledge or deal with. Participating in Tom's marketing campaign does nothing for Garth. He's already the biggest show on the planet. It would only benefit Tom. That was the case for the majority of this Cold War. But after Joe Rogan apologized to Garth on behalf of Tom on the recent Sober October podcast, We're sorry if this hurt your feelings. This is all just fun. Yes. It made me think that Garth could come out of this even bigger and more liked. Imagine him doing a video with Tom, actually embracing the truths we all see but he fails to acknowledge. How he hates being in hotels. He hates social media and never really wanted to do it. Garth has achieved one of the biggest followings of all time while wearing a mask. Can you imagine the connection he would make with his fans and outsiders if he was just honest? If you take a step back and ask yourself why this whole thing is so funny, I think the simple answer is truth. The truth is funny. Honest discovery, observation, and reaction is better than contrived intervention. It's what makes Tom Segura my, and millions of others, favorite comedian. While we may have never considered the possibility of two to three hundred bodies being buried on Garth's Nashville compound, it is funny because we know it isn't true. But at the same time, we can all see that something isn't quite right. Maybe it's because we can all see a little bit of ourselves in Garth, and it's good to see someone wealthy and famous being just as pissed about everyday life as us. Or maybe we've all had to deal with a person like this, like the step-parent who behind closed doors can't keep it together. <sighs> Is that supposed to happen? <gasps> but when they are forced to be in public, they overcompensate by acting how they think normal people act. Amen. So join us, won't you? Stand up for love. Stand up for mankind. <laughs> Stand, Stand up, up for, for Ukraine. Ukraine. I.E. Garth. In God's name, give me that old-time religion! Give me that old-time religion! It's good enough for me. I like that.